in the country, depending on the school feeding program, have been thrown into a state of confusion after the national government initiated plans to scrap off budgetary allocations for the program in the 2024-2025 financial year. And as Elizabeth Atieno now reports, the Dish in a County School program in Nairobi is still underway, although the national government is yet to offer financial support to it. At the crack of dawn piercing sounds of machines and clattering sounds of knives welcomes us to Madangari Kitchen in Nairobi County. Here, we meet a group of chefs preparing a meal. First off, they chop cabbages, then carrots, as onions and tomatoes are grated. The food is then fried. Today's meal is rice and beans. Bosho zikiva, tunaeka cabbage, tunaipe time, tunaeka carrot, zina chemuka, zikiva, tunaeka iyo sasa iyo rojo. You will realize that the meal prepared is of large quantity. This is because it is meant for 200,000 learners under the Dishina County program in Nairobi County. By 6 a.m., the food is ready for packaging and is sealed in these sufurias before they are delivered to different schools in Nairobi. I oversee the operations in the kitchen, making sure that every school is getting the right quantities of food and that the food that is delivered in those schools is of good quality. Tuna ilebol, as in, hi kichakula kinenda shule gani. So for easy identification, alafu after po ivo, by 11 a.m., the distribution process to various schools is complete, and by the time the lunchtime bell goes off, pupils can barely control their hunger pangs, and it's time to fill their empty stomachs. As of now, 200,000 pupils have benefited from this program up from 180,000 pupils last term. The county government of Nairobi is steadily stepping on the pedal to ensure that over 300,000 pupils who attend school will benefit from this noble course. And the number has really increased since the inception of the feeding program by the county government. It isn't much money. Comparing that some of these parents were not able to pay for hot lunch. However, the fate of the Dishi Na County program hangs in the balance as the initial plan for this program was for the county government to contribute 1.2 billion Kenya shillings to the kitty, while the education ministry was to match it. However, the county government has lamented over the national government's inability to keep its end of the bargain. I usually see even some of them eating and leaving some little from their bakulis to carry home to the younger ones. So it is helping even beyond the school. Additionally, millions of learners spread across 26 counties who have been depending on the school feeding program may go without meals effective July this year as the 2024-2025 budget has not incorporated funds for this program which had been allocated 4.9 billion Kenya shillings in the current financial year. So can you imagine population number is akua kwa kama shule bila chakula watoto watatoka? That is what will put children in school in bandit front areas. According to the Ministry of Education, the required funding for the 2024-2025 financial year is 9.78 billion Kenya shillings. However, the allocated budget has a shortfall of 660 million Kenya shillings. Elizabeth Atieno, TV 47.